Invitations aren't exactly like what they used to be anymore. With the growth of social media, event invites have moved online and for the most part are promoted and distributed digitally. With Facebook, you have the ability to create and properly brand your events, invite your network, post regular updates, and much, much more. Creating the proper visuals for your Facebook event will help attract more clicks, build stronger credibility, and in return, bring more overall interest and attendees. Hey, this is Nick from Snapbun. In today's design tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Facebook event cover photo with the newly updated dimensions. So let's get right into it. So what you'll need to do first is make sure that you have the best Facebook event photo size so that your image is optimized for Facebook's guidelines. The recommended Facebook event cover photo size is 1920 pixels by 1005 pixels. This is about a 2 to 1 aspect ratio and it's much different than the previous dimensions in the older Facebook layout. It's important to use these exact dimensions so that your event photo is not cropped like you see in these examples here. It's also crucial to note that the Facebook event cover photo size is different from the Facebook page cover photo and the Facebook group cover image size. To make things easier, I'm going to be using Snappa to create a Facebook event cover photo. Once I'm in, I'm going to navigate down to headers and banners, and I'm going to click on Facebook event cover. After choosing the right graphic size, I can now decide if I want to create the template from scratch, or I have the option to choose from a variety of different Facebook event cover photo templates that Snappa offers. In this case, I'm going to repurpose the template that Snappa offers, so once I have a template that I like, I'm going to click on it, and now I can start to customize the template to my needs. So I'm going to pretend that I'm organizing an Iceland adventure. So I'll start by double clicking on the heading text. I'll type in Iceland adventures. From here, I'm going to resize the text box and reposition the text box so that it fits exactly where I want it to be on the graphic. The next thing I'm going to do is edit the subheading text. So I'll double click on that. I'm going to type in Snappa presents for this one. And for the bottom one, instead of an address, I'm going to say reserve your spot now as a call to action. So right now I'm not too happy with the font style. So I'm going to click on the title. I'm going to change the font style to the font style of choice. I'm going to do the exact same with my subheading text. So I'm going to double click on the subheading text. I'm going to change the font style on the left here. I'm going to do the same for the bottom text here. And for this subheading to keep it all in one line, I'm going to extend the text box just a bit. I'm going to decrease the size just a bit as well to about 35. And I'm going to reposition the text box so that it's center with the graphic. The last thing I'm going to do with the text now is change the date to the date of the event. So I'm going to change this to the 15th. And I'm going to change the month to April. So I'll double click on that and type in APR for April. Now that I'm done adjusting all my text, I'm going to change the photo to something more relevant to the event along with the colors. So I'll start with the background. I'll navigate to the background tab on the left here. I can either choose a photo from the image library. I can choose a pattern background. I can upload my own image. I can choose a colored background. But in this case, I'm going to select a photo from the stock photo library. I'm going to type in Iceland. Once I found an image that I like, I'm going to click on it. And from here, I can reposition the background image if I like by navigating to the left and clicking on reposition. From here, I can scale in or scale out of the photo. And I can also click and drag it up or down so that it's positioned correct. Once I like how it's positioned, I'm going to click apply. And from here, I'm just going to change the color graphic in the center here. So I'll click on it. I'm going to navigate to the color picker on the left here. I'm going to change it from orange to a black. And I can also change the opacity of the shape. So right now it's at 65%. I'm going to move it to about 75 to an 80. Once I'm happy with my Facebook cover photo, I'm going to rename it. I'm then going to save it in Snappa so I can make modifications for the future. And I'm going to download it as a Retina JPEG for the highest possible quality. So that's it for today's design tutorial. If you guys haven't already checked out our Facebook group or our Facebook page cover tutorial, I'll link it down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.